Well, friends, I'm several levels of government removed, but I am here because as an elected representative, just as John, I'm quite concerned about the issues that concern me. And part of my role as your elected representative is to listen to you, to hear what your concerns are, and to listen to your points of view, especially on issues that are going to affect our communities here. And it was actually encouraging to hear that John acknowledged that uh, the first mistake was not consulting. Mm -hmm. yeah. We are yeah. we are public officials. In, in fact, your title is trustee. To maintain that trust, there's a reason that we have and carry some of those titles. To maintain your trust, there has to be that process of consultation. But there's a second issue here, and I'm here listening, learning. I've actually gone down to the park to walk through the park, the woodlot, because I live in a different part of Etobicoke. But there's a second issue here as well. That property was acquired for the collective use of this particular community and neighborhood. It doesn't belong to us elected officials or some bureaucratic department. It belongs to the taxpayers. It belongs to you. And I see similar things happening at all levels of government. People sometimes lose that particular perspective. And it, it was interesting listening tonight because it was acquired for the future use of the children of this neighborhood. Well, it became clear in 1973 that with the number of children in the neighborhood, a school would not be necessary. If it's not to be used collectively by our children as a school, let's guarantee, through a change in zoning, that this collective asset that belongs to this community is maintained for the children and for everyone collectively as a part. That showed tremendous foresight in 1973. When I think about the start in Heathercrest Park and what was going on, and, and you came out to the meeting, and uh, I, we want to thank you for coming out to the meeting. You were, you were the only one that uh, of our elected officials other than um, the people from the TDSP that came out. And, uh, and I know it's, it's not supposed to be a federal matter, but yet, yet you were there. Now I'd like to introduce a federal member of parliament for this area. I'm sure you know him all as well, uh, Boris Zuzniewski. Very, uh, again, a very big supporter of the work that we're doing, often participating in our events, and I know very keen on environmental work and on uh, youth as well, so welcome. Thank you Susanna and Chandra and most of all I'd like to thank all of you for coming out today. You know it started off as Earth Day and over this past decade it's transformed into Earth Week and in fact Earth Month and it's so encouraging when you look around I see three generations of community that have come together here today. And Susanna mentioned that there's a stewardship that you've taken on. In fact, there's almost a new creed by which we now live. There's a new understanding. And, it, and it's difficult to comprehend the complexities of our relationship with the earth, the air, the water, but sometimes, perhaps, it's not as complicated as we think. And that's why it's so important. And there really is a new creed by which millions and millions of us live by, that we have to take care of the planet. But we also have to do a little more. We have another responsibility because there are other collectives out there, especially our corporate world that sometimes live by a somewhat different creed.
And there's nothing wrong with the profit motive. Our corporate world needs to make profits, but it should be for the benefit of mankind, humankind, womankind, for all of us. It shouldn't be at the cost, profits at the cost of future generations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to the Conservation Authority, to the Mimical Watershed Group for everything that you do. And let's make it Earth Day every day. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank goodness that in this community, we had neighbors that came together and realized what they had and that it was about to go. And once a park is gone, it's not coming back. Not only did you save this park, you proved something so critically important at a time when people are cynical about getting politically active. You showed that when you come together as a collective, that grassroots democracy can work. You've just made a great contribution to this neighborhood. There will be generations of children whose quality of life in this neighborhood will be better thanks to what you have all done and achieved. So my hat's off to you, thank you, You've done something quite incredible, and I'm glad that in a small way I could be a part of it. Thanks.